Yo, what's up guys? I got a really quick video for you today. So if you play stretch resolution, you may be aware that one issue with it is that it takes longer to tab out of your game and to tab back in. Now this is due to having a mismatch between your game resolution and your desktop resolution. As well, if you have multiple monitors and your monitor is on the right, only on the right and on the left, um, you'll have an issue where it like kind of pushes over a lot of your windows on the second monitor. Um, and the way that you fix both of these issues is by changing your desktop resolution to match your game resolution. Now, obviously, it's really slow to use NVIDIA control panel or display settings before you start your game. So what we're going to do is we're going to get hotkey resolution changer. And it's going to allow us to just set up a couple of hotkeys and do it on the fly really quickly. You won't have to like press any prompt to say, like, yes, I do want to stay with this resolution like you do um, if you use display settings. And so we just go ahead and download this. And then once you download it, I would just go ahead and copy it over to program files. Um, once you extract it, you don't have to, but you know, it, I think it makes sense to organize your stuff there. And then once you have that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to right click and create shortcut. You're going to press the windows key plus R. You're going to type shell startup. And you're just going to drag the shortcut over there. The reason for this is that will allow it to start up with windows. Um, you obviously don't have to do this, but I'd recommend doing that. So you don't have to start it every single time. Now it will just live in your taskbar. Um, so, you know, make sure you press the minimize button instead of close. And you're going to have, um, it'll have like some number here. I don't know how many hotkeys it's going to ask for, um, but just obviously change that if you need to. Um, so you want to have at minimum two, you want to have at minimum your in-game and you want to have your native res. And you just go ahead and you has a drop down list of all the resolutions you have um, supported. So any custom resolutions made by NVIDIA or CRU will appear in here. Um, so just go ahead and put your in-game resolution and then put your native on another one. And then just you press change and you just choose whichever keys you want. And then make sure you press set after you choose your hotkey combination or else um, it's still going to be looking for keys and you won't be able to use your keyboard. Now I put control shift delete for my stretch res and control shift insert for my native. And I just use that switch back and forth. If you don't have 10 key uh, numpad like I do, then you know maybe a function key will work for you instead. Um, so that's pretty much it. You're just gonna go ahead and anytime you're gonna run a game that's in stretch res, just go ahead and use your hotkey. And yeah, you'll be able to tab in and out much faster and you can switch back to native on the fly. Um, even You can even tap out of the game, switch back to native and like, you know, browse the web or whatever while your game is minimized and it'll be much faster. All right, I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, go ahead and leave a like or a comment if you have any questions and have a good rest of your day.